I want to take a few minutes to tour the completed project management solution. This will help you understand what our goal is, where we're going, so you can visualize it in your head because as we're developing each piece it may not be clear so it's important to know what our roadmap is. So we have quite a few tables you'll see in Manage Database. We have all these tables, projects, companies, employees, tasks, expenditures, and documents. We're going to use not a anchor buoy system, but just connect everything together because there's really, I really only go to anchor buoy when I get above 10 tables. There's no point in doing it, it just makes things more difficult rather than easier. But above 10 tables approximately makes things easier. So we're just going to connect everything together. And then we're going to create all these layouts based on projects. And here's the main focus of what everybody's going to be doing in here. You're going to be inside the project area with your master detail layout. We're going to allow you to perform finds, not by going to find mode, by handling it through here. And we can do some cool things with this. We can check on the statuses and the next seven days, next week, anything. We'll go over how to do that so that users don't have to be hindered by understanding find mode you know, date ranges and things like that, they can be confusing in how to search that. So we want to make sure that's correctly done. And then you'll see that there are tasks. We can add tasks anytime we want, add a fourth task. We'll cover buttons that will allow you to find that hidden portal row, that empty one. There's a filter portal here so you can say, hey, don't show me the canceled ones. I don't want to see those right now. So we'll have all that stuff, notes of course, and be able to add a note with uh, some information ahead of it, who the user is, the date and time. We'll have files and pictures, and even a Gantt chart. We'll do this with JavaScript. It's pretty cool. It's not too hard. You don't have to know anything about JavaScript, so don't worry about that. And then, of course, we can go over to companies, enter in companies here, and even go to employees and enter them over there. Get back to projects. You have all this navigation built in, all these features so you can properly track a project and you even have reports. We'll have tons of reports. You'll see these reports right here that you can produce and we'll have actually one report layout but a bunch of ways to interface with it, How what we want to see in the report plus based on our sorts we'll produce the report in different ways showing just companies or just projects or both projects and companies and tasks and whatever you want to show. Very interesting technique to make that sub report, just one layout, produce a whole bunch of different reports in FileMaker. And that's about the size of it. There's not much else. We will focus in on just learning how project management works. We won't cover a ton on relational theory because I cover that in other videos such as my philosophy of FileMaker and my complete contact manager. Here we're going to focus in just on project management and I hope you enjoy this video.